popular spot in this Johnson County community prepare to pay up. The so-called driveway tax is now a reality tonight in Mission. Ryan Cass spoke with some people in Mission tonight. Along Johnson Drive in Mission, Blake's Barber Shop has been cranking away for 30 years. I personally hope it's not over. But tonight, the owner is angry about a new tax, saying it will shave his revenue and force him to raise prices for customers. You know, they spent the money they don't have, and now we're going to have to pay for it. Property owners will soon be paying an extra fee to help pay for Mission's crumbling roadways. It's known as a driveway tax and will charge people based on the traffic they generate. City leaders claim the burden on small businesses won't crack their bottom line. I think there's a lot of concern that it was like 3,000 or 4,000 and really for small businesses in Mission it's not a lot different than what it is for residential property owners. Homeowners will pay $72 per year. Busy drive throughs like Arby's or McDonald's will rev up an added $12,000 to city coffers. But Target wins the prize for biggest tab, nearly $65,000 for the transportation fee. No buildings are off the hook, though. Even City Hall will fork over $1,100. Some taxpayers believe the idea should have been on the ballot. The cost isn't so much, but it would have been nice to have gotten some more information ahead of time so we could have taken a vote on it. Jim believes the tax will drive some property owners out of the city. This might be the end of my business after 30 years, and they don't seem to care, so, you know, we'll see what happens. That was Ryan Kath reporting. The fee is expected to raise $1.2 million per year. City leaders say it will help pay for $38 million worth of planned road improvements over the next decade. Those added fees will show up in the December property tax bill.